What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Matt and we are here today in Canton, Ohio because there are a few unique roadside attractions that I want to share with all of you. Right now we are in what used to be a small little fiberglass kingdom called Mother Goose Land right over here in Canton. And unfortunately, a lot of that has been removed and what you are left with is a remnant of the past. Through the 50s and until the 80s, this area used to be home to a lot of incredible fiberglass statues. Nowadays, there is only one remaining called Willy the Whale, and this place has been transformed into Willy's Dog Park. So we're going to take a look around here today, as well as a few other places in Canton, and show you what is unique and different and amazing about Canton, Ohio. So follow me as we check this out. And there he is, in full glorious paint, Willie the Whale, the last remaining character from Mother Gooseland. Take a look at this guy. This is absolutely incredible. I love the fact that they even placed Willie here in his own little swimming pool his own little pond because he is in fact a whale so he needs some water you can even walk inside of willie's mouth here and uh let's take a look inside here and see what willie has been uh snacking on apparently he's got a lot of graffiti in his mouth and uh some uh, toilet paper very interesting. Looks like uh, Willie has seen better days, but hey, the fact that he's still here after all this time is really quite impressive. One big whale. The reason why Willie is still here, while a lot of the other statues have been moved, is because he's too big and cumbersome to actually be relocated. While many of the other statues that used to be here have disappeared and been dismantled, destroyed, Willie remains. And over in Canal Fulton, at the theme park, Sluggers and Putters, you can also find a couple other remnants of the past. I also love this mural that they've erected to celebrate the history of this location. As you can see, it spells out Mother Gooseland. Of course, there's a goose in the word goose. Why wouldn't there be? I also love this old Mother Hubbard boot here because back in the day during the 50s, 60s, and 70s, and 80s, they actually had a huge old Mother Hubbard boot statue that used to stand here. This right here is the cow jumping over the moon. You can see the underside of the cow and the moon over there in the distance. And of course you have the three blind mice here. I just love the looks on all of these characters. <laughs> that is wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. And this is a pumpkin house. I don't know what that is from. If you guys know what this pumpkin house, what nursery rhyme or fairy tale this pumpkin house is from, drop me a comment down in the comment section. Of course, you gotta have the gingerbread man as well. Don't you know the muffin man? The muffin man? The muffin man! And there's Puss in Boots 
looking as demented as all the other characters on this mural. I love his little sword there. And check out his boots and his wild-eyed stare. He is wonderful as well. These are pretty cool houses. Do you know who they belong to? I'll give you a hint. These are made out of brick. Give up? Here you go. It's the three little pigs. I love that he's not wearing any pants. None of them are. Except for this guy right here. He's got some pants on. And who's this? It's the big bad wolf. Wanting to chomp down on some pork chops. And last, but certainly not least, we have the mouse and the clock. That is a wonderful mural, and I am so glad that they have paid the respects to what used to be here, Mother Gooseland. Too bad I never got to see it during its heyday, but seeing it now with this mural and Willie the Whale over there, I kind of love it. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. Man, you gotta love good old Willie over there. That's one heck of a whale, a whale of a tail. And although many of the attractions are gone, they still have some fun things for kids to do here. I like this colorful tube system that you can We've talked a lot about Mother Goose today, but over here we got some real life geese. And this is that iconic sign right here. Boys and girls, it's Mother Goose Land. Get ready to see. That's what it will be. Mother Goose Land. Here's an interesting statue as well. Especially on the top here, you see the basketball. It's got a football and a baseball. And I really like the lion that has been placed upon this gate. Check that out. And Willie has some other unique animal friend over here. I believe it is a dolphin. It is very, very muddy. So I'm not gonna go over there to get a closer look, but it's kind of cool that they have this little dolphin in this dog park. There's also this really, really cool looking tower with a sun. Very creepy sun on there. That's pretty awesome. Right now we are over here in Canton's Arts District. That's why there's so much really cool stuff everywhere you look. And while we're over here in Canton, I wanted to show you guys this incredible statue as well. Take a look at this. These old 1960s TVs made out of stone with all of these guys standing watch. Now this statue is to commemorate the American Football League. And all these guys are different people represented here in stone that were members of the American Football League. And take a look at these details in these TVs. You can see the dials here. The old knobs, all made out of stonework. Are you ready for some football? See, as this sign states, it's the AFL from 1959. The sculpture celebrates the American Football League, which ran from 10 seasons, expanding into new markets through television and bringing tremendous innovation to the game. Really, really interesting and unique statue right here. Look at this camel I found randomly driving around here in Canton outside of the Desert Inn restaurant. That is pretty awesome. Yeah, Canton certainly has some interesting artwork in it. Take a look at this building. It's like a sea monster 
or an alien bursting right out of the windows and the walls. You can see all of his tentacles just dangling and swinging around over there. Get the big eyeballs staring at you. Love that old neon sign of this ice cream store. Two scoops. Plus take a look at these crazy faces on the side of this building. Love that one in the middle. It looks like a soccer hooligan. It reminds me of uh, Putty from uh, Seinfeld. For the devils! The devils! This building right here is really awesome as well. Over there you got Admiral Akbar, Calvin and Hobbes, my absolute favorite, Calvin and freaking Hobbes. You got that skeleton over there. You got that crazy looking angel with a gas mask. Or is that a crow? A bird? I have no idea what that is. But it is really awesome. This side of the building is pretty neat too. Here's another gas mask. And this three-eyed monster. That's pretty awesome. Very, very colorful. The hub. Like that cherry over there. And that dinosaur is really neat too. Look at these fruits and vegetable monsters. And this queen worm with a cactus. And <laughs> check out this rabbit. This is all so really freaking cool. I love this dragonfly too. Yes, my friends, this is certainly a day full of whale activity. Here is another whale commissioned by Arts and Stark. Take a look at this guy. And over here, I think that's a turtle. Is that a turtle underneath him? And up top is a whale. That is really freaking neat. Check out this building with that girl with her green eyes on the side of it. That's really awesome as well. Over here, you got Mac and me. And Frankenstein. Over there, you got a skeleton with a bucket on its head. Weird stuff. This is really awesome too. You got this mural of Wonder Woman out here. Freaking love Wonder Woman. This is pretty awesome too. There's a statue out here that commemorates the creation of the NFL draft in 1936. Take a look at this statue. This is pretty freaking sweet. Check this out. You even have the coach with his fedora and the football. That's excellent. And this sign here talks about the 11 greatest moments in professional football history. From the birth of the NFL to Monday Night Football in 1907. This town is absolutely obsessed with football. Even their bike racks are football helmets. And even the trash cans down here are works of art. Look at this guy rocking out. Yes, everything and everybody in this town is obsessed with football. And I love this Welcome to Canton sign. And look who it is in the O. Our friend Willie. Yes, sir. I absolutely adore this freaking sea monster on the side of this building. That is so freaking cool. Thank you guys for joining me today on another fun-filled adventure. We had some great time checking out all the sights and sounds of downtown Canton, especially with Mother Goose Land and our friend Willie the Whale. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.